this whole shift in the last year, especially the last few months, and I know you've been changing for years, but this shift, this freaking transformation that has been rapidly, you've been shifting within yourself constantly the last few months, is this shift into your empowerment phase, shift into the phase of yourself where you start getting your power in a new way. And what's happening is we are ridding years and years and decades of programs. And, you know, there's this thing happening within you where you're finally claiming who you are. It was this, you know, like you're really with this like conscious intention realizing that it's all a choice, that you get to decide who you are. And in this, um, your ability to have this power over your thoughts and over your emotions and, and get your thoughts to lead you to create the life that you want. And, you know, don't get it twisted about this concept of power. And a lot of people, you know, the word power and authority, it's like the word God, like it, everyone has like some kind of weird, yeah, that word. Um, you know, this is about claiming your power and, and a truer power because when people have to try to have power over other people, it's only a reflection that they feel freaking powerless inside. That's all that is. So this is about your own empowerment and those who know they are powerful, choose to have power over themselves so they can um, mold and shape the reality of their heart's deepest desires. So you are stepping into this and it's it's just so, and I said it in my last video, there's moments where it's really ungrounding. There's moments where it might feel like you can't even catch up to breathe because you've just shifted yet again into this more expansive version and your downloads, your ability to kind of like get on a epiphany level of, oh wait, like I can choose to be this thing. I can choose, I can choose, I am this. It's just like getting stronger and stronger and it is like a superhuman power. And also before we start, I am Cara Elizabeth, the author, illustrator, and creator of Animal Apothecary Card Deck for manifesting, for overcoming tests and difficulties. And we're also gonna be using my new body tech deck, which is all about the wisdom of our own tech within our bodies to manifest and heal and transmute. Um, it's not out yet, but definitely sign up for my email list below to be notified when it drops. And then lastly, um, my next workshop, I Am The Power, will be so, this is like another jump off. It's September 21st, virtual. And I mean, if you see this in a long time, all my, these videos are gonna be available or the workshops will be available whenever. So if you're seeing this in like five months, you can still download this workshop. So it is virtual, it is live in New York City um, at Rama and it's, it's, we're using the fall equinox. We're doing it on the, the eve of fall equinox and harnessing the power, okay? Because there's this crazy power that happen, it happens during the equinox. So we're colliding our power with that power and that shift to hurdle ourselves yet into more of a deeper, straighter alignment of ourselves. So it's gonna be really awesome. We're using animal manifesting, which is basically, you know, when we um, focus on a certain animal who has certain traits, we start entangling with them. And then we can start, um, you know, that is when the, their medicine and their information can start entangling with us. So we're gonna be doing animal man manifesting and body tech the movements and using our bodies to align with our freaking intentions and using the, the intention and the movement to catapult us further into to our most powerful selves, to transmute, to freaking let go of what no longer serves us. Because the other thing is that this is about letting go of who we have been identifying for so long. And there is still these programs that have been you know, they're just like, like a parasite 
and it needs you to live and it is comfortable because it's it's just what we've known and we're ready to let those things go and watch yourself blow up watch yourself shine even harder watch yourself do unbelievable things when you start to rid those limiting beliefs and you know it's this this is this is why it's all about this new shift of of humanity this is the shift of aligning with how powerful we are and um it's super exciting and it's really draining and it's <laughs> a lot all right so we're just gonna be oh and for those of you who sign up for the workshop use the promo code power all caps power to uh get a little membership discount a little little membership discount all right my friends so quick quick and easy let's just see what power these two fell out so we're just gonna go with it what power wants to share with us okay and then put your arms up take a big deep breath in the power of our body what our body wants to share with us pulling a card now there is some message about this kind of balance of rest and action rest and action rest and action that you can do it all that you can do whatever you need to do and it's not about hustle culture because it's actually saying there's this perfect balance of rest in addition to um this uh action that inspired action and whatever you need to do to create this awesome epic life so any guidance and wisdom from the balance of rest and action and what our body so let's rest and action so fist pump okay and this is one of my cards the assurance card that's like yes we freaking did it so you freaking did it take a big deep breath in squeeze your muscle constrain your muscles hold it stop the blood flow when you squeeze everything squeeze everything in your body squeeze 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 relax after squeezing everything that that blood constriction it actually allows everything your blood cells to regenerate to come back up to the surface so just relax with our body and then what our body wants to know about this rest and action balance who are we becoming so I want you to just say out loud some of your I am's of like who you're embodying right now, but there's more to the story. So just say that, give that energy right now, your I am. Keep saying it, but this is about in that, who are we becoming, what our body wants to share. Okay, of course. Hmm, huh. love that. All right, so what our power, wants to share with us. Um, of course, we get immense growth, the vulture, and then we have the courageous lion who was once known as the cowardly lion saying it's in you and you are the gift, body tech card. So this immense growth, I mean, I already said it, like I don't think I need to go too much more into that, that you've been changing rapidly, that there's this huge thing, but it's also about like you're yielding some kind of gold, you're weaving something into gold, you're weaving something sacred. So this is about like the golden ratio. There is something that you're creating that is divine. There is something you're getting in alignment with, which maybe is just a truer version of you because what's more divine than being your freaking true self without all the freaking programs that told you like, this is what it means to be you. Um, so it's in you, you know, like for, so there might be this feeling of like, unknown right now and like you're on this path and you keep taking this path and you're going forward even though it feels like i don't know about this it's kind of scary but the cowardly lion had what it was looking for on the outside he was looking for a badge of honor of courage to be like recognized by the outside like see i have courage i have the badge of honor but he had it in him the whole in himself the whole time and then by having the courage on the yellow brick road, 
then he did get what he wanted on the outside because he demonstrated that, yes, I am freaking courageous. Not to mention that like, there is something about, there's so much unknown, there's so much change within yourself that your clearest kind of like um, reflection of your change is when you do get scared and when you do wanna back down, that means you're closer. Because when you are leveling up, when you, when you are aligning to a more empowered version of yourself, you're activating whatever doesn't feel empowered and it's gonna share those stories with you. So if you're getting hijacked and triggered Congratulations, you're in the midst of yet another level up. So you are the gift. So this body movement, um, comment Sat Kriya, S-A-T-K-I-R-Y-A, I always, Kriya is uh, whatever. Um, so this is Sat Kriya, true self. Like there's, or this is the action of this, this movement, this kundalini yoga movement, and you're repeating over and over again, sat nam, sat nam, which is um, roughly expression of true self, true self. And you're doing this position and saying this. So if you comment that below, I don't know if I said, sorry. If you comment sat kriya below, I will link how to do it. It's a three minute body movement that is for one, like becoming more magnetic, becoming more in your power, moving up any stuck sexual energy, which is all down here, moving it up the spine, moving anything that no longer serves you out. It is amazing for fertility, for prostate health. It is just, it's like, it's, it's amazing. So this movement and this true self identity is realizing and honoring that you are the freaking diamond, that you are the gift, that you are this most valuable creature in your creation of reality. And I think what power is sharing with us is that this, you're in this huge growth. It's like tricky, you know, there's a lot of unknown moments, there's some fear coming up, but what it is leading you to is your true freaking self and realizing that you're the gift that you've been looking for this whole time. But you have to realize it, right? Because it's the cowardly lion. You're looking for some kind of validation or gift or abundance or whatever outside of you, but it's like, it's in you. You're it, you're creating it. You're everything. You're the fear you create, you're the, you're the, co-workers you have disunity with you're everything you are a part of creating this but like in its most it, the other thing it's like i think too is the power because we all have these unearthed gems within us our gems are our virtues right and we have to unearth them we have to shine them we have to put them in light and reflect sources light right so there is something about this journey of even um realizing you're the gift but but like sharpening and um polishing the gifts that you have within to become even more brilliant so that when light is reflected into them it can bounce back and share even more light with others um your rest and action so rest and action are sharing getting like just com always coming back to this like what am i grateful for magnetism through gratitude so it is like just any moment just like think about all the things like i love this i love this i love this constantly shifting into a state of gratitude and thinking about what you love and thinking about what you're grateful for we know we've all heard the science behind it we've all we all but just do it the other thing is that there is something um, rest and action is sharing with us that um, is happening in an unexpected, like you couldn't have thought of this in a million years, but it's going to happen. It's some new and better path. There is something in development. So if you've been dealing with any level of rejection or something not working out, it, it doesn't mean that that thing isn't the thing for you or that 
that hope and dream, I mean, it might, but it's just like, there's something better coming for you and you're being redirected. So that's one aspect of what this could mean for you. The other aspect is that like, you couldn't in a million freaking years ever, you have this idea, you have this goal, you have this like, this is the I freaking am and watching how it kind of is gonna to be totally different than what you think in the coolest way because this is leading to the emerald and I'll shorten the whole evolutional, evolutionary story of how the greenest emerald in uh, the Andes and Colombia came about. But it was through being blocked and, and guided in another direction that created a pool of water to have minerals that created the greenest emerald. So there's something about, um, Again, either a redirection from a rejection or not in a million years could have you guessed that this is how it was gonna go down, but it is so freaking awesome. And it's better than what you could have even imagined. So who you are becoming, um, that version of you coming forward, who you are becoming, is asking the you now to have some love and compassion for yourself. And this card comes up and the, the movement of this card, she's going like this. She's having a conversation with herself like, you know, um, and it might sound like you've been putting a lot of pressure on me to constantly do better and I'm doing all of it and I'm, I'm going forward and I'm tired and like, it's always about doing better, but you're not like honoring. And then the conversation then comes from another aspect of yourself. Oh my God, you are doing the thing. You did do that thing yesterday. Wow, you had that really awkward conversation. That was so awesome. Like you did go forward and you did do that thing and you stood up for yourself the other day. That was so freaking cool. Oh my God, I love how like, also like you were, you've been going to the gym and like look da da, 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 da. So there's this moment where you're having to just have a real vent with yourself. Like I need you to lay off, man. Like the pressure is on. It is this constant kind of what's next, what's next, what's next. And like that part of you is like, I'm doing it. I'm, and I'm tired and like, you know, and then the, the conversation conversation shifts into wow you are doing all of this and like look at the good job and like you know even as something like whatever like you got up for work on the like a good time and like you know I like long ago getting up was a, a like a very difficult thing for me um but I, I don't deal with that anymore but that's why it's an example like sometimes just like the things that might seem whatever to whoever, that little thing, you did a really good job. You did a really good job. So who you're becoming is looking at you right now and is like, you need to give yourself some props. You need to let yourself vent and give yourself some love. And then the other thing is like, if you can go and just do something nice for yourself, like, oh, I really wanted that little treat or this, you know, just to like lay down for whatever, whatever. Try to give yourself some kind of like a nurturing treat. Who you are becoming is telling you it's coming. You just need to freaking surrender and allow this thing to happen. And it's gonna happen however it happens. Clearly it's gonna happen however it's gonna happen. And it's gonna be better than what you think. But this is saying like you are connected there is this co-creation between you and life and that you need to like right like sometimes people feel like power and control or what is the word synonymous but it's like well, what are we talking about here are we talking about like that that kind of power and control or are we talking about like a deeper and like like also like what is power like on a deeper philosophical level like is it love i don't know um so this there's something that you're you don't have to control how this thing is coming like it is already in creation like you have done so much work 
and and all of the universe around you has already everything is set up and ready to orchestrate this like next phase that's coming for you but it's all in alignment so you just have to allow and trust and know that it's coming um and anything else these amazing creatures watching need to know anything else that your heart just needs to hear right now from the animals and from our body anything your body wants to share with you become the prayer oh my god so prayer answered and become the prayer so your prayer is freaking answered but this is like act as if your prayer has been answered and the way you can co-create with life right the surrender and receive thing is like you can co-create by becoming the prayer answered like you put your prayer out there now answer your own freaking prayer by becoming the prayer answered and act as if your prayer has been answered so you not only are going to get this abundance of what you're you were hoping for but you are going to get the beyond here is about aligning with your purpose and your gift that you're here to share with humanity. I freaking love that. And I hope to see you at my workshop, virtual and in person in New York City, the eve of fall equinox, September 21st, really shifting because guys, listen, we are aligning to our power so any work you can do on connecting to a healthy freaking power because let's face it everything on the outside teaches this weird crap about power and i'm going to be real with you you know i come from a history of being sexually abused as a kid for years and understanding that deranged level of like someone you know this this illusion of having because no one can actually take my power but this experience of the story of someone having power over me. So I, I have a deep understanding of power because I understand its sickness. I understand how twisted that can be. So it has just led me to understand the light of power and the beauty of power and what I am here to share because we are here to uplift humanity. We are here to get into our power. We are here to share our gifts and we're here to create world peace. I love you all. Peace.